everybody. I, I'm at the mall, a small, I like favorite mall. Just went to the dermatologist. My face acne is doing so good, praise God. I wanted to record a special video, like they have a nice little area, a veranda kind of, like with all the restaurants and a lawn. I was gonna make a video over there, but it's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snowing. Mm. Ah! And I really like that um, rain smell. Just so fresh. So Lord, have your way in this video today. I decrease to nothing and you increase to everything, Lord God. Lord, I'm your vessel. I'm your conduit. Lord God, speak through me, Lord God. May only your will and your reign, your reign, <laughs> supreme, Lord God. Lord, give those watchings, Lord God, ears to hear, a heart to listen, Lord God. Give them a pliable heart, Lord God, to your word, Lord God. And let them enter into the joy and the realm of your peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. So, I need to crack this one. It was kind of hot. Okay. Lock the door. So, back with my acne. Like, I look at it as a, if I wasn't, if I didn't go to the dermatologist here in Friendswood, it's like um, an hour away. Like, or like an hour and eight minutes according to Google Maps. But when it's traffic, it's longer. But like, I wouldn't go to the Bayberg Mall all the time. I wouldn't just... Um, I wouldn't know all these exciting places. A couple months ago, I got to take my best friend out on a date over here. And we went to the Cheesecake Factory, and it was, it was wonderful. And, you know, I wouldn't have, you know, when I went vegan, I was very, you know, my heart was pure, but I judged people on how they ate. I used to think, how are you Christian? And you don't, and you eat Cheetos. Like, you, your body's a temple. Girl, I'm not like that no more. But, like, oh, this feels so good. Mmm. We're gonna hear the rain, okay? Actually, no. No. <laughs> Bear with me, you guys. But what I'm saying is, it humbled me going through my acne journey. And I prayed it away. I said, I rebuke this acne spirit. Acne is not my portion. I went to a Ryan Hart Bonky Deliverance Conference in 2016, twice. And I pray, and you know, people were getting healed out of wheelchairs, people were getting delivered. And I prayed, I said, God, I, he said, any part of your body that you want to be healed. And I said, God, I don't want this acne anymore. But it didn't, it didn't get healed. But now it's healed, but it's through a doctor. So sometimes we think, and that's like, but now it's healed. Just God, three years later through a doctor. And yeah, I still have to do these regimen. I have to go to a doctor. I have to use these expensive products. But you know what? That doesn't mean my faith is less. It's just God used different ways. You know, you may think, oh, he didn't hear my cry. Yeah, he did. He just has different methods of doing things. And, like, how I was, quote, unquote, late. I was, like, 20 minutes late to my appointment. And I called them. They didn't answer. And I hate being, like, I hate being late. Even though I'm late sometimes chronically. But, like, I hate, like, that feeling of rushing and, like, ugh. But God is telling me, like, you're good. Like, you're good. You're good. It's like, ooh. But when I got there, you know, I waited for an hour, but they got me in. And I got to sit by this older couple. They're probably, like, in their 80s or 90s. And I think one of them had cancer. The, the, the man had cancer, and their daughter was taking them. But how they just interacted with each other. One was in a wheelchair, you know, not trying to be TMI, but you can see she has kind of like a, like a like an adult pull-up on because it was, like, peeking out. But she was just, like, she kept on caressing her husband, and he had a hearing aid, and they just called each other babe. And... It was so beautiful. It's just like, that's a beautiful marriage right there. Like, you know, wrinkly skin, just like, we all try to fear aging, but sometimes that's our best lessons. Like, their love is beautiful, and their love, their love stood the test of time. And so if I was not, like, if I wasn't, if I got there early, quote unquote, I wouldn't have seen that. And he said, um, he when I, when I um, left, he was like, um finally you can go in i'm like oh yeah so it's like um god's plans are so much more different that than we would ever expect so what i'm trying to say is you oh calm down you need to calm down can i do it like this excuse my torn seat hmm. ah <laughs> All right, let's let's not get frustrated. Hold on, I need to tie my. I'm really hot, but it's okay. 
Okay, we are where Space Center is in NASA. So let's see what we got on the plate today. How are y'all doing? Enough about me. How are y'all doing today? Good? You doing good? Um, okay. And I've been on this fast, and today's been better, like, um, hot. The other day I made a video how, like, it was just, you know, I was, like, crying in the closet after all this weight on me. And God told me, like, I was crowning. Like, I'm not only in labor, but I'm crowning. And, you know, y'all are crowning. That's why you feel all this pain and stuff. And, like, literally the next day it's like, boom, I had a breakthrough. And something miraculous happened. And I know it's just going to keep on, oh, this feels so good. And it's just going to keep on getting greater and greater. So just push through, you guys, okay? Just push through. And then we had a, I had a person from Kenya, a pastor from Kenya, email another pastor from Kenya. I got invited to do a revival in Kenya. I didn't announce that. But yeah, I got invited to do a revival in Kenya. And I'm just so excited. And God is just so miraculous. And he's, he's doing things. I think that's what this is going to be called. I am I'm going to Kenya. I'm going to hold a revival in Kenya in 2020. And he um, he messaged me. And um, he wants me to, We're going to go to the homeless. Um, he has an orphanage. We're going to go through to... We're going to visit the um, shelters. And the, um, there, he's with... In the, in the government schools. I'm just so excited because all those things I have a passion for. And then he put me in contact with some um, American contacts he has. And there's even one church he's, con he's connected with in Sugarland, Texas. And I saw, I Googled him. It's legit. He's a man of God. And all over the United States, I, I called and they like, they go, this one person I talked to, they own a radio station, the Gospel Coalition. Um, he's been in, he's been over there four times and he's giving me good information. And and I'm also inviting my parents to go. Cause I'm like, my parents are um, in ministry and I sent them a link to Last Call Ministry. He's like, I would love to have them and anyone else you want to bring. And so I'm just so excited how like that was birthed through this fast. That was birthed, not only that, because the labor that this fast is, this fast or this time of where I'm in with God, the, the, baby was, the baby was already in me. So I've been in the wilderness for over four years, almost five years. So the baby was already in me, but the fast put me in the position to birth, right? Like for a woman that's nine months pregnant in labor, like she can't be in the, she can't fly. Like the airline's probably not gonna wanna take her to fly because what if she, what if, what if she had, went to labor in the airplane? Like she wouldn't have the resources, her baby would be in danger, her health would be in danger. So you have to be in position to birth and certain positions can make, can, because sometimes you can be in the wrong environment. Maybe you need to, maybe when you give birth, you need a blood transfusion and you end up dying. Your baby gives birth, but you end up dying. But if you were in position at a hospital, you could have got that blood transfusion. You know what I mean? So it's like being in position. This fast is all about being in the in position. So I'm just super excited. God is just so good. And he's blowing my mind. Like I got asked to hold a four day revival in Kenya. I got asked to hold teaching seminars. A, a quote unquote Bible school for four days. I got it. I got asked to visit the government schools in Kenya, in Kisumu, Kenya. Like I'm so excited. And, my, and now my parents get to go along. They've never been international, and we just been. My dad has a heart for Africa. My mom, even with my miss, mission trip to let's start talking, she's like, um, I'm going to Brazil. She's like, I want to go with you next time. And look, God has something even greater. So it's just like I want to share that with y'all. Keep that in prayer. I also share this with my um. I feel like he's my seer. Like David had a seer. I feel like God just linked us together. Um, prophet Kwame and he, he the uh, the prophet from Canada, who's always highly anointed. He's a scribe. Um, you know, I just made sure I sent it to him, and he's like, "This is just confirmation for everything I've been telling you." So yeah, I'm just really excited because like the baby is gonna. It's not just for you. When a family has a baby, the baby's not just for the parents. Like it's for the whole world. It blesses. <laughs> It blesses the family. It blesses the nations. It blesses God. And I'm just so excited to be a part of this. So look, 1 Corinthians 2, 9. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? Like, I could not even fathom. I'm going to Brazil. I'm going to Kenya next year. Like, who would have thought that I'd be 
me and my parents be holding a revival. Like, I didn't have to go search for it. I didn't have to do this. I didn't have to do that. And it may seem like, oh, I'm not this big YouTuber. I don't have 10,000 subscribers. I don't have what it, I don't have this big, quote unquote, platform that I think I need in order to do these things. But God's like, uh, I'm doing it my way. So, God's doing things in your life that it's going to be mind blowing. Like, ears have not seen, eyes have not heard. And you just need to continue to be obedient, be steadfast, and just depend on him because he's got you, okay? He's got you in the palm of your, your palm of his hands, all right? And so I'm just going to have a, pray, a prayer. Uh, I'm going to say a prayer breakthrough. We're going to do a little praise session. And I just want to hear um, in the comment section below, what are some things that God has, like, what are some things that you've experienced that ear has not heard and that your mind has not conceived. Sometimes we're so base level. We can be like, oh, well, I've never heard anybody with that story. It can't happen to me. Don't you, you think Meghan Markle heard anybody marrying to the royal family, being half black, a bit divorcee? And you know that she, like, if she would have based herself, oh, my friends don't get married to Prince Harry. Like, she would have limited her whole life. God's doing ab above and beyond what we could ever think, okay? What if Neil Armstrong, oh, I've never seen anybody go to, man to go to the moon. All right, but he went. You know, so it's just like, let God be God. So we're going to sing this song. The words are going to be, God, I'm going to trust you. God, I'm going to let you fight for me. God, I'm going to love you. All right? God, I'm going to trust you. God, I'm going to love you. Let you fight for me. And let you fight for me. Because you are amazing and nobody else can be as awesome as you. Oh God, I love you. I love you. I love you. So Lord, blow our minds right now. We yield. Lord, let the rain fall. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you're in Kenya, let me know if you've been to Kenya. But make sure you subscribe to this channel. It really helps me continue to do what I love. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up so other people can see it. Make sure you hit the bell notification so you can you don't miss a post. And if you are already subscribed, thank you for being a part of the family. And make sure you check out StacyShereau.com. I have hundreds and hundreds of blog posts that will make your day. All right. Bye. Thank you for watching.